What is this? Dude. This is, wait. I got him. Dude, seriously, wait a second. Underneath the building Listen. at the NCW arena? Dude. Why? Ain't you tired of driving 15 hours in these faraway places? To prove Whoa. a point that we've proved a thousand times all over the world. Hello, yes. we won tag team titles in Japan. Can anyone else here say that? Uh, no. That, this is not how international stars get treated. We're so, you guys come up and invade us up in Philadelphia. Now we come down here, we can't even get in the locker room. Yo, remember when they came down to Philly and we beat them up though? That was pretty cool. Oh well, yeah, we did beat them. <laughs> oh, TNT, we beat Let's them. see, okay. Oh yeah, we beat the Lost Boys already. Yeah. All right. We beat, we TNT. beat TNT already. Ain't... So we we're come the tag team champions. Tournament. Actually, where's our belts? We should be. We're the tag team champions. We want our own locker room, <sighs> our own hotel room. We are the champs. Actually, this really ain't that did bad Did we beat here. TNT before? Yes, actually we did. This isn't really that bad here. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, we don't have to no. deal with any oh, of those yeah, guys in there anyway. Oh, they don't great. like us anyway, so forget about yeah, it. Sure. We, don't we have, have a buy in the guys. tournament tonight. <laughs> what else? We're doing oh, great. Well, that is pretty cool. We can guys, with this. We'll guys, it. hey, guys are up in 10 minutes. Let's go. Get dressed. 10 minutes? 10 minutes. That's no good. We got a massage in 10 minutes. Yeah, Tell dude, them to make it yeah. half hour. Yeah, dude, you're going to have to chill with for a little bit. We are not going to reschedule for you guys. All right, well, I got minutes. a message. Let's I got go. a message for All right, you. Tell Bill Barons. You tell Bill Barons that these matches can be a real inconvenience. Yeah. Well, I'll do that. You, you better be there. Yeah, you do Get that. out of here. Let Jesus. us alone. I'm Get off me. Is it on me still? And fit at a stalemate at the moment. So, Georgia, how does it feel to have a real tag team come out to that music for once? Uh, we've seen it before. Don't you people know who we are? When we come to a ring, all the ladies are supposed to take out dollars and stuff them down our pants. Now, I know a dollar is hard to come by these days, but you could have all taken up a collection. I mean, come on. We drove a long way, people. Don't they pay enough? Hey! In case any of you people didn't know, we are international superstars. And we've won tag team tournaments all over the world, okay? So we deserve a little bit more respect. Crowd not very hey, respectful hey, hey, of the hey, Backstreet hey, Boys. Hey. Do you want us to leave and miss the best match in a tournament? No. No, that would throw off the bracketing, guys. Don't do that. Trent Asher yeah, threatening to leave. And ladies and gentlemen, introducing their opponents. Now both Trent Asher and Johnny Cashmere are well versed in the ways of tag team wrestling. In many ways, they've uh, brought that bar up. For the promotion that uh, has been an all-out war with NWA Wildside, and it's a war we've not documented well down here because there's been no need in it. But Wildside and CZW in the state of Pennsylvania, more specifically in the city of Philadelphia, more specifically in the ECW arena, has been a war of complete and utter attrition. That it is. Why you want to fight over that damn bingo hall is beyond me. What a rat trap that place is. Regardless... CZW has quite a rank of some amazing single and tag team talent as we do here at Wildside. If anything will be resolved here tonight, I'll be somewhat surprised. But the point remains, tag team gold hangs in the offing and the backseat boys and the lost boys get their opportunity to grab for it in this second round matchup. The Archangel Gabriel and superstar Trent Acid Getting ready to start this matchup. Trent Acid is actually uh, the CZW and Big Japan Wrestling Junior Heavyweight Champion. Johnny Cashmere now tagged in. The man dubbed as unbreakable in combat zone wrestling. Has been through the ring. He's one hell of a technical wrestler, a hell of a high flyer. He was also involved in one of the most disgusting light tube death matches pro wrestling has ever seen. Now that's pro wrestling. Light tubes. Talk to Ole about that. I, I actually hear that uh, wrestling great Ole Anderson is in attendance with us here tonight, and I'm sure he would have a thing or two to say about light tubes. I'll bet he would. I think he uses them in his lumberyard. 
Interestingly, the bell is rung several minutes ago. Of you have yet to see a single blow or a hold exchange between these two. Uh, check that. Relax, seat boys. A little sucking, a little driving. Very little. They know each other very well. Well, if they wrestle as good as they dance, they should be pretty good. Unfortunately, uh, this isn't a boy band. This is a wrestling match. And frankly, Dick, I want to give it a 35. Can't dance to it. Got a lousy beat. Inverted atomic drops for both of the backseat boys. Amazing how the tide could turn within a microsecond. Irish whip. Oh dear, looks like Trent Acid is driving Johnny Cashmere home tonight. Gives a new meaning to the term backseat driver. <laughs> well, that's all behind us. I'm not going to call that. I'm not going to call that. Hip toss by Gabriel. Apparently, whatever impression the Backseat Boys wanted to leave here at the NWA Arena, they're not doing a very good job of it. No, no, not at all. Now, we certainly expect some big things out of the Backseat Boys. Now, we saw a version of them here about, about a year ago, I believe. Yeah, it was actually... Uh, Johnny, Johnny Cashmere as and, well. And Donnie B. Donnie B, yeah. Who is the brother of uh, World Wrestling Entertainment's Nova. Even though they look nothing alike. Wait a second. The backseat boys are splitting. Well, of course, the Lost Boys have nothing to say about that. In all honesty, they need to be quite aware of that. They can be counted out here. Azrael, forearms. And, uh, Trent Acid trying to run away. Gabriel slamming his head into the apron. Surely they didn't drive all this way just to run away. Double Irish whip going for the time warp. Trent Acid's been there on the receiving end of that maneuver before in Philadelphia. He knew to counter it well. Double super kick since Johnny Cosmer off the apron. And that's the time warp. The Lost Boys in some respects seem to be toying and playing with the backseat boys. Arabian press to the outside. I guess this is the Lost Boys version of fun. Oh my. There's the Yakuza kick. The finishing maneuver in one-on-one -on -one competition of Trent Acid. Gabriel comes up and overlands on his feet. Through to the midsection, Irish whip. Goes for a clothesline. Forearm shot by Trent Acid. This is the maneuver they call the dream sequence. Ending up with a baseball slide right to the face of Gabriel. I dare say Gabriel's right for the pinning. Of course, Ezra has something to say about that. Referee Andrew Thomas has no idea who the legal men are. Good oh, night, nurse. The backseat boys needed a face-shoulder tackle combination. Go for a bulldog. They catch Gabriel with a drop kick. And they're calling for the T gimmick. Oh, I thought they went a timeout. One of their respective finishing maneuvers of the Lost Boys counter. Collision again. And a double clothesline. And four kickouts. That might be a first for the NWA Arena. Seems like the Lost Boys and the Backseat Boys have come to a bit of a dead heat here. Kicked to the face by the very lethal angel of death, Azrael. He swings those feet with a reckless abandon. Close line sends the angel of death to the outside. Johnny Casimir coming to the outside. 
of the Lost Boys, Neil Tony Kazmir. Nagi Sawataru leg drop to the outside. The pain for that must have been excruciating. Trent Acid sending Azrael into the security railing. Right in front of the Columbia girls. Trent Acid charges in, elbow to the face by Gabriel. And forearms to the kidneys. Reverse top move, Hurricane run a good gun almighty. Is it worthwhile to pull that off only to have Gabriel land on your back? Apparently it's a decision that Trent Azza thought was a, was a very valid one. Oh. Neck breaker by the angel of death as Trent Acid hangs in the tree of woe. There's the excommunicator by the Lost Boys. And Johnny Kaismer is still out on the outside. Frustrations beginning to amount. A sea of chairs. We don't have too many to spare here tonight. What the hell? Surely they are not setting up what... Oh my God. It's been about a year and a half or so since we saw this assembly of chairs. The Lost Boys taking a page out of the book of blackout. They've felt the wrath of this very steel casket the steel casket was what Blackout used to end the career of white trash. Oh, my God. Oh, good grief. And the Lost Boys crumble into the steel casket. This may be the end of the Lost Boys as we know it. Frankly, I don't think the Backseat Boys fared as nearly quite as well. What a sea of humanity. Trent has on the top of Gabriel for the pin. No! Gabriel gets his shoulder up. Digging down deep, looking for some, provi some Providence guidance there. On the top turnbuckle. Trent has to he goes for a tornado DDT. But Gabriel quick to counter. Perched up there like a bird. Johnny Cashmere. It's sneaking around to the other side of the ring. And, and the Lost Boys taking way too long to try to lock in position for the unholy roller. And, and it cost them dearly. And Azrael paying close attention to his own tag team partner rather than the charging Johnny Cashmere heading towards the top rope. And there's the T gimmick from the second turnbuckle. And the Backseat Boys advance. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners advancing, the Backseat Boys.